In other news tonight, a coyote and three separate attacks. That's the word from California's Department of Fish and Wildlife. The coyote is apparently hanging out in areas with lots of people, and it's apparently not very happy. NBC Bay Area Shoal Heard has more. That's pretty frightening, especially kids, because parents bring their kids here to shop. A lot of concern tonight in downtown Lafayette about coyote attacks and sightings in the area. The amount of land in Lafayette hasn't changed, the amount of houses has, and maybe the coyotes need somewhere else to go, but it's kind of disturbing when you get an aggressive one. The latest coyote attack happening two days ago near the back of Diablo Foods. And in the Lafayette attack, the animal had approached a grocery store worker. He was taking a break in this parking lot. Just literally just sitting behind his grocery store, uh, completely unprovoked. It ran up to him and bit him in the leg. He wasn't hurt badly, but officials got enough DNA from his wound that they were able to match the attack to two others. Coyote warning signs are up here at Camp Alindo High School in Moraga telling people to stay off the track. That's because a man was bitten here on December 4th. There was a coyote latched on to my left calf. Officials matching DNA from this wound to a July attack on a two-year-old boy in a Moraga park. The Lafayette attack makes three from that same coyote. Maybe you get one a year, but this year we've actually had eight. Wildlife officials have trapped four coyotes, but not the one they are looking for. They are hoping to track this one down before it strikes again. In Lafayette, Cheryl Hurd, NBC Bay Area News.